thank you first and foremost for, for being here today. It, it's, it's a real privilege and an honor to serve you today. It's a special day at Georgia, at Georgia Tech. Obviously, we know who's on campus. Let, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. It is what it is. And, uh, and we're excited about the challenge in front of us today. But we're also excited about the challenge that we will be for what's in front of us today. Georgia Tech is a special place. And I don't say that because I'm biased and I work here. I can tell you this, that any great place is great not because of the brick and mortar, but because of the flesh and blood. It's about the people who lead the program. It's about the decision makers, the influencers, those who touch the lives of your young people. For what purpose? So that they might get ready for the next 40 years of their lives and be successful in whatever chosen endeavor they desire to go after. Georgia Tech is in the business of preparing young people, not just for competition on a Saturday afternoon, but for the competition beyond the field. And I can tell you this, that's more competitive than anything that happens on Saturday afternoon. And one of the things we are so proud of here is our tremendous history. You look around this room, it's incredible the people that's walked on these grounds, the athletes that come through this building, uh, the professionals that's gone on and do exceptional things uh, in their careers. We're excited about who we are because here's one of the principles and things I teach our young people. Know who you are. Know your identity. Never lose sight of home. Be proud of where you come from and represent the institute well. And bigger than all of that, the name on your back, wherever you go, that's who you represent. I have a son that's here. And I can tell you this, wherever he goes, he represents more. My last name is on his back. And so what we try to do is to keep our young people understanding that character means something. It's not just about wins and losses. It's, listen, your greatest win is your ability to make great decisions in life. The company you keep, the places you go, the decisions you make, your worst defeat will be the people you, you hang around with. Your worst defeat will be losing out on opportunities and privileges that, listen, that don't come easily. Nobody gives you anything in this life. If you want it, you have to roll up your sleeves and earn it. Georgia Tech is a place where it's rigorous, but I don't want to be anywhere where it's not competitive. Why? Because I believe when the best comes out of me, it comes out of me as a result of the competition I'm around. That's when I'm at my best. That's when I find out a whole lot about who I am. And so we want to teach our young people a lot of things that's going to make sense in life. Coach Johnson is one of the greatest football coaches in America. A tremendous leader. Tough but fair. He's tough but fair. He loves our, our student athletes. Dan Radakovich, our athletic director here at Georgia Tech, is one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. We've got the right leadership in place to continue to take Georgia Tech to places that you've never seen before. And for you to be in this room, as Coach Klein said, is a special thing. It's a special thing that you've been able to keep it in the road, academically, athletically, and socially. And obviously, you've made great decisions in the parental side of things. And parents, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your sacrifices and your hard work as you've invested in your young person. And one day, you're going to drop them off at an institution one day wherever it may be, and the hope is that they would represent you well. They, they go there for the primary reason to get a quality education. Listen, the degree at Georgia Tech is like no other degree in the country. It is a special degree. It is. And then you get a chance to play in the ACC conference, which we believe is a great conference, big-time college football. But when it's all said and done, I played the National Football League for several years. But that wasn't the highest achievement for me. More than all of those things was the people who touched my life, influenced me. I was, listen, I was willing to listen. I wanted to be better. I wanted one day to be a father, to be a husband. I wanted 
one day to be a person in the community that would be remembered for his services and helping others. I want to be remembered for those. I don't care if you don't remember how many touchdowns I scored. But the kind of man that I am and the kind of man I want to leave as a legacy, not only for my own son, but for the young people I get a chance to mentor each and every day. Listen, it's a tremendous opportunity. It's an even greater responsibility. It is. Character counts, gentlemen. It does. So wherever you choose to go, listen, I hope it's the Georgia Institute of Technology because you're going to run into me. And I'm going to love on you, put my arms around you, tell you everything you want to hear, and tell you what you don't want to hear. I'm going to talk to mom and dad and build relationships with them. And more than anything, we want to get you ready. Get you ready to come out the tunnel. Where's that? Bring, bring me that deal. Bring me that deal. We want to get you ready to come out the tunnel at Georgia Tech, academically and athletically. We want to get you ready. Thank you so much. Tell you something. It's hammer time. <laughs> I want you to know it now. It's hammer time. It's time right now. Listen, the dogs are in town. And you know what? It won't be easy. It never is. I told our guys this morning, you know what? Somewhere along the road of life, you've got to stand up for something. Listen, you're going to find that if you stand up, nobody can ride you back. You hear me? If you stand up with your chest up and your chin up, eyes focused, you'll be amazed at what you can do. And as a team, we have to take a stand today that this crap is over. Listen, for four quarters. You hear me? For four quarters, we're going to bring this right here. And I don't know how hard their heads are. We're going to find out. <laughs> Listen, if you've ever been cut back before, boy, you're going to have sore knees.